Well, back now to our lead story. The shock announcement that Hutt Hospital's main building is an earthquake risk and must close. The building, built in the mid-1970s, houses 70% of the beds at the hospital, including maternity and children's wards. We understand its earthquake rating is just 15% of the new building standard. Matthew Parr is Acting Chief Financial Officer at Hutt Valley DHB. Kia ora. Kia ora. Is that rating correct? So there is a draft rating uh, that we received and we've now been working through a process for a full peer review of that. What we've come out and said to the public, um, um, going from a transparent and open approach as quickly as we could, is we now know via that peer review that the building will be um, earthquake prone. Okay, but can I just get some clarification? Is the rating 15% of code? That rating may move. So but that what does it say at the draft. moment on your desk? So that is, yes, that is in our draft report. And how these things work is it goes to the lowest common denominator. Via our peer review process, we've confirmed that that rating will not move above earthquake prone. No, oh, but it could um, go down. But it... No, uh, no, that won't go down further. We have that confirmed as well. OK, so we're looking at 15% of code. Uh, you're talking about peer review. So how many engineering reports have been done and are the engineers all in agreement? Yes, so we've had uh, three different engineers um, um, write reports into, into this one. The firm that's commissioned the full, um, the full detailed um, seismic assessment, and then we've commissioned a full peer review. Uh, the firm that have done the, the draft detailed seismic assessment have also written us a report on what it would take to remediate that building, mm. and that's something we're working through very quickly. Uh, for example, um, people the Hutt Valley will be able to see some um, fencing go up around, around the building. So remediation is where you're going to go with this? It's not going to be demolished? Uh, no, it's, it's far too early into the planning process to be able to make uh, make those decisions and those are ones that we want to make uh, working together. How much to money is this going to cost? Uh, again, far too early into the process to be able to say what the, um, what the cost for this would be. So when it's 15% of code, how is it that you're also saying it's low risk? When are you going to get people out? Yeah, so it's important to note that that's an assessment against a, a technical engineering code. That is not an assessment of risk. Um, and our engineers have put in writing to us that this building is low risk. Uh, and, and hence, under mm. the council, um, we have seven and a half years to uh, re- rectify and remediate this building. But we are looking to move uh, faster than that. When you say faster than that, how fast? We don't yet have time frames, but we've started that planning process and we'll be um, publishing Months. information on our website. Weeks. We're moving as, as, quickly, as quickly as we can. But realistically, we're and we're very short of time here, but are we talking months or weeks before people are out of that hospital? We're talking for a short-term time frame horizon. We have set a horizon of uh, within a year. Um, and now we're engaging into the planning process for what that could be. Appre- Medium and long term, we've talked about one year to three years. Appreciate your time. We're unfortunately very short of time indeed. Ten seconds to go. Thank you, Matthew Parr, Acting Chief Financial Officer of Hutt Valley DHB. Do.